Okay, hang on, sweetie. Okay, uh, not a big imaging night tonight because this sky is pretty hazy. But uh, we do need to do some tests. I got a, I got a GSO coma corrector. I got my spacer in there. Um, I'm gonna try that out because on the 7D, that's an APS-C size sensor. You can just start to see some coma around the edges of the sensor. And if I want to use my 5D3. That coma is going to be a problem. You know, we're going to lose most of the image on it. So, I got the coma corrector. That's that's the cheap one. That's the GSO, and uh, reviews on it were pretty positive. Um, there were some negative ones that were like, "Ooh, it introduces some chromatic aberration. That's unacceptable in images of my caliber." You know, but uh, I'm going to try it. I'm going I'm going to do uh, you know, some test shots with and without on both the full frame. Honey, don't swing that around, please. The full frame and the crop sensor um and we'll compare them side by side and see how they look later got uh my research staff out here helping violet say hello hello she's a big help but anyways uh we're all set up gonna wait for it to get dark we'll take some test shots i re I'm re i have high hopes for this coma corrector because i'm going up to a dark site this weekend you were in the picture honey Okay, well you should blow your nose first. Okay, anyways, we'll uh, get back with you when it gets dark and we'll see how it goes. Alright, down to brass tacks, astronauts. We did some uh, tests with the GSO coma corrector cheapest coma corrector I could find and uh, this is this is on a 5d mark 3 and an 8 inch f6 Newtonian so it's not a super fast newt but it's fast enough to get coma definitely um these were the best two images and you can see down in the corner clearly this is without the coma corrector obviously got coma there and with the coma corrector, it's much, much better down in the corners. Um, yeah, a lot better. So that's with the coma corrector, without. With, without. Um, as far as the uh, chromatic aberration was going, everybody, or I, I read a few reviews that said oh the chromatic aberration was bad I did not notice anything drastic you know you can get rid of chromatic aberration with, with a filter with with a little bit of work in Photoshop it's uh, you know you can't you can't get rid of these footballs with a filter but you can get rid of you know some halos and uh, I noticed that the the image in general with the coma corrector it's just a lot sharper like look at the stars here they're a lot they're a lot more bloated and then here they're they're much more pinpoint um, so I think the image is a little bit sharper with the coma corrector too um, overall really happy with it uh, I'm gonna I, I couldn't imagine before um, imaging like this with with a full frame sensor on that uh, on that Newtonian, but it's it's definitely gonna work. I did some shots with the APS-C two, and it didn't make that huge of a difference because it's already cropped. Um, so you know all of this stuff is already cut out on the APS-C size sensor, and it was a little bit sharper, but it's, it's nothing really to waste your time talking about uh, but yeah for for hundred and ten dollars that GSO coma corrector is pretty sharp um, just gotta make sure you got your backspacing because they're not super clear you need 75 millimeters this much of a back focus behind that coma corrector or it's not gonna do anything at all alright until next time bye